Thursday, October the 6th, 2022, and I'm down in Hampshire, Liphook, about to undertake nine and a half miles or thereabouts to Hazelmere in Surrey. This is a walk I last did in January 2010 on the mobile phone for Saturday Walkers Club and is badly in need of an update. Got a decent day today, a bit breezy, so that might come across on commentary, um, but otherwise, weather's pretty good for walking. Around the mid teens, temperature wise, a bit of cloud, but otherwise, we can't complain after the rain we had yesterday. Let's press on, see what awaits. It's about 10 past 12. Should be done by five at the very latest, I'd have thought. So, uh, as I say, a walk I have done many years ago. Can't remember much about it, but I'm sure it will come back as I uh, get round it. One thing that um, wasn't present, however, was some vicious dogs, which apparently uh, exist around point 13 of the text. So let's see. I've got me doggy treats in my bag just in case. After about 700 yards of residential walking, take this left. And as you can see, we've just come out of Hampshire. So on the very borders here. And almost straight away we join the Serpent Trail and the Sussex border path around 15 yards in from the junction. And the new Lipchis Way, which interestingly wasn't on the other post. Lovely mixed deciduous woodland here. And we're gonna be in woodland pretty much all day, uh, which is great for a hot sunny day and also a breezy one, but um, there isn't much breeze here at the moment. It's probably going to get stronger later this afternoon. Surface underfoot, pretty decent thus far. Looks like green sand to me. And the uh, Serpent Way bears off right here. Okay, I think this is uh, 300 yards on, where we have a choice of routes soon find out. I'm on Stanley Common on the map by the way and as you can hear above jet noise already uh, detracting. So at this uh, post take a left coming off the um, main path there. Wonderful morning or afternoon now. At this three-armed finger post, continue right. I notice we're back on the Serpent Trail now, not way, as I said earlier. Serpent Trail. Coming out into a clearing here, with a cattle pen over there, I believe. Seeing as it said cattle grazing. And there they are, belted galloways probably National Trust property that I'm stood on. I'm unsure. Just been speaking with the uh, owner of Stanley Farm about the looming issue of the vicious dogs. And she tells me it's a lady that lives there and uh, the dogs are still present. They are Spaniels apparently. So not the Alsatians I was fearing. And by all accounts, they just bark at you as dogs do. So let's see. Water starting to appear, as you can see. Just bumped into an another lady walking uh, around and she said she's been bitten by these dogs within the last 12 months. Uh, the Spaniel has got rage syndrome, she says. So, fingers crossed. She didn't see it this morning though when she's passed. Looking ahead at Black Down there, which is quite high as you can see. 
we reach a lofty 665 today. What a wonderful fungus. Name escapes me. People tell me every year and I forget. Lovely sunken lane here. Descending quite steeply here amongst the, uh, I think they're horn beams. Coppiced. As we approach the scene of the uh, dogs. There are the two uh, offenders. I think it's that brown one that's got the rage issue looking at her eyes. So there you go, still barking, but no more than an irritant as was uh, previously mentioned. I've just chucked some dog treats in there and they seem to have calmed them down a bit. As you can see, they're tucking in. Chicken dog treats. Yep, glad you're enjoying them. And at this three-arm finger post, very close to the property, you have to be careful not to miss this turn off down through the field. Crossing over Baldwin Bridge. with some lovely views on my left as I do so. So moving away from the din, uh, now entering a more coniferous environment. Lovely petrichor after last night's rains and there's still quite a heavy dew stroke dampness on the surface now as we walk down towards the water which I can hear in the background. Walking across the river uh, that I heard earlier and it's good to see that um, levels are starting to increase again. Now a short section of road walking uh, on the grounds of uh, the Abbey. Shaw Breedy I think it is. As you can see, passing the Priory. Looking back whence I have been, and uh, the Augustinian Priory, you don't get to see much of it. There's only remains here, apparently, according to the map. Very autumnal today now. Wonderful. left at this juncture not that way this now ascending through Green Hill Wood per the map which is initially coniferous pine Lots of beech nuts underfoot and acorns obviously. Wonderful view looking south here from a point near Reeks Wood on the map. Reeks Wood being over there on my left eastward easterly direction. Get a slightly better view from this angle. South Downs in the very distance. First style of the day. We're around 515 feet up here. And we take a right. And we're following a small stream downhill now. A 
alongside the appropriately named Crab Cops. Yeah, so we're going to be walking in this stream downhill. Well, in fact, you don't need to because the actual footpath is hidden in the ferns just to the left. Brings you out at this point with a uh, tarmac road surface ahead of us. So at this uh, three-armed finger post through these trees, veer off left on a clear path ahead of me there. Over another stream that seems to be slowly recovering. And some more wonderful fungi up there. New housing development ahead of me here, which wouldn't have been here when I last did this walk, of course. Crossing over a main road here, aiming for the Red Lion, which is the uh, recommended lunchtime stop here in Fernhurst. Property there selling honey, six quid a jar. So there is the Red Lion, a Fuller's pub, and uh, this is all coming back to me now. See there's one of the old post boxes with VR because it's uh, and the uh, Victorian cipher. There aren't many of them about but um, enough. So uh, I believe this is the only church on the walk today. Parish Church of St Margaret where I've had lunch previously uh, in the storm porch because if I remember correctly there aren't any seats around. There is said church, interesting clock, which is uh, accurate. No, no seats still. So I'll, I'll go onto the playing field where I remember that there are some. So, as luck would have it, we've now got a picnic table, so that's an improvement since the last visit. What isn't an improvement is the noise behind me. Sticky wicket. So, half past two, lunch is served. Around about uh, just over five and a half mile in, so halfway. Three o'clock, lunch has been had and the uh, green calf has temporarily moved from the um, sticky wicket pavilion over there which is being extended to this porter cabin and you can see the opening hours here and what it says uh, in the event that the place is closed there's a coffee shop apparently in the village centre Good to see some new trees being planted there. Could certainly see oak. Don't know what the others are. Wonderful. Rewilding. Walking along a uh, stony surface at the moment. Old rocks sunk into the mud. Certainly not good for new aromas. I'm now in Wreath Wood, per the map, with its lovely sunken byways, as you can see. Wonderful. Holly, sycamore, maple, birch and beech. Lovely. little waterfall here well 
albeit man-made. Now up into Lower House Farm woods. At this finger post. At this junction, take the left deviation towards Ridge Reeds on the map. Bridge Reeds, in fact. Is it Fly Agaric? Can't remember. Seems to be uh, familiar. Fly Agaric. Wonderful. Fly agaric is uh, a mushroom, I believe, anyway, not a fungus. Wonderful. Certainly breezy outside these woods, so uh, a good choice today in terms of wind interference. Now, as you can see, we've come uh, away from a section of lower farm where you need a license with fear horse and straight away the paths are getting worse so hence the uh, notes refer to this section the afternoon section being particularly muddy uh, it hasn't been thus far too bad but now the horses are getting in the picture you can see that the path is deteriorating and will be a nightmare in the winter. I've been lucky today. I wonder why these tyres have been dumped up here. Someone's gone to all the trouble of putting them in bags, bringing them up here and dumping them. Shocking, eh? Not exactly an easy place to bring them either. Interesting, at this point we seem to have crept into West Sussex, out of Surrey. Now following this restricted byway for a short distance, before turning right into open country. Just here. Do a sharp right, almost back on yourself. Now into horse paddock country. Still around 600 foot up here. 594 to be exact. More saplings being planted. Very good to see. Seems I'm mentioning this more and more recently. So I'm pleased with that. Aiming now towards Wade's Marsh farmhouse on the map. Unsure why this footpath is so narrow. As you can see there's two, well, three fences here in total. But I would have thought this footpath has to be two metres wide. Which would be the second fence posts. Certainly only a metre wide at the moment. And with all these brambles next to you on the left as I'm walking, it's not very good. Still, no app at the moment to report this, unfortunately. Passing the splendid Wade's Marsh farmhouse. Lovely uh, warm brickwork there. Splendid chimney. I like the bird protection at the top. Now entering National Trust grounds and hopefully uh, these cattle will be more placid being National Trust cattle. But as I've said in the past, 
they're not completely innocent, the National Trust, because I've had to go through fields where they've had a bull in a field with a path crossing it, which is totally illegal. Well, this is Valewood Park, and although you probably can't see at the moment, there are house martins still flying around here. October the 6th. Plenty of time for them to be here yet. And if the cattle are in here, they're longhorns, which we have up um, my way. A rare national breed. Lovely property over there. Settled about amongst the trees with the early autumn colours just starting to appear. And there's another very large mushroom. If anyone knows what that is, it's about, uh, well, I'd say nine or ten inches across. Okay, we branch off left here under this oak tree, and this looks like a new finger post. I've noticed quite a few today, new ones, so that's good to see as well. Navigational aids are improving. So there weren't any actual cattle in there today. My goodness, what an amazing collection of agaric. Never seen anything like that before clearly something there that they like in the soil incredible lovely so this woodland where the agaric were is north side copse on the fringes of Hazelmere now and this is a very pleasant time of day or early evening just a couple of hours before dusk very still and quiet, robins are singing and uh, you can feel the air changing, it's getting cooler and the night creatures will be out shortly wonderful and the walking underfoot being fallen leaf litter of many years is springy, very good for my feet, particularly the new aroma. Far better than what I was walking on earlier. Yeah, no path watch, no report. Easy done with the uh, app. I don't know what this uh, rubbery type of plant is. Lots of it around here. anyone knows that'd be interesting. Leaves have got a kind of uh, striation down them. Looks like a kind of bamboo which would be uh, good. Bamboo is an amazing plant, albeit an alien. Serves a number of um, purposes, like hemp. Lots of bracket fungus here. over some duck boards. A pleasant sunken lane on the edges of Hazelmere. So polite in Surrey, eh? Most county council wouldn't bother. 
Well, I think the unevenness is caused by all these little cones. And to be uh, honest, that is what it feels like when you've got a new aroma. That uh, you're continuously walking on a small cone under your foot. Quite painful. Definitely needs dealing with, but uh, got to get scanned first. That seems to be taking forever. Now in uh, leafy hazy mere, 25 to 5 as you can see there. And who would have put money on that bloke wanting to come into this entrance where I'm currently stood? Incredible. Million to one shot that. I never win the lottery mind you. 14 million to one that. There's various cafes uh, available here for those that want one at the end of the walk and a Waitrose uh, en route to the station as well. Just coming out of Town Meadow, which is still on the Serpent Trail at this point. Okay, uh, what is it? 3 hours 56 and 10 mile on the button. I made that. Book one, walk six, re-walked. I don't remember too much uh, of it. Well, some of it I've remembered. Fernhurst Village Green, for example. But that aside, very decent walk on an autumnal day. Lovely weather. And uh, not too muddy underfoot at this time of year either. So very pleasant to revisit that walk. As I say, a long time since I've done it and on the old mobile phone so hopefully today's rendition will be a bit better uh, unfortunately my foot was playing me up today one of them days so uh, wasn't able to proceed as quickly as I wanted to really anyway till the next time Pulls in. Everything's hunky dory today with the trains, it seems. Fingers crossed. Till the next time, take care.